Time now for French Connections, our weekly look at the intricacies of life here in France. This week, we're going to focus on French politics and how the actual institutions work in the wake of snap parliamentary elections called in June. President Emmanuel Macron has taken his time naming a prime minister. So let's take a closer look uh, with uh, what the respective roles of the president and the prime minister are here in France. And does the French president have too much power? Flo? Hey, Delano. Well, let's dive right in with our word du jour, which is a word that comes up uh, when you talk about executive power here in France. A great word for you Scrabble buffs out there. It's bicéphalisme. So bicéphal means two-headed. So you get the idea. In France, the executive is a two-headed monster. So on the one hand, you have the president directly uh, elected by the French uh, people. And on the other hand, you have the prime minister who is named by the president and responsible in front of the parliament. Now, the relationship between the president and the prime minister is regulated by the French constitution, articles 5, 15, 20, and 21. There is some plasticity, though, uh, in this relationship, in the constitution. So it does give a little bit of wiggle room to the players involved. Let's start with the role of the president, Florence, because uh, the, the French presidency is unique, immensely powerful uh, as an institution. In fact, some experts say it's the most powerful office in the democratic world. That's right. French presidents have more power than leaders in other countries like Germany, the UK, and the United States at the scale of France. Keep that in mind, at the scale of France. So first of all, the French president is the head of state uh, and in, in charge of ensuring that the French constitution is upheld. The French president is also the person who sets the nation's policy agenda and represents France abroad on the world stage. Uh, the French president is also commander-in-chief. You can see all the French presidents mm. of the Fifth Republic here. Uh, the French president is commander-in-chief of the armed forces and has the power to deploy troops uh, abroad and uh, order the use of nuclear force. So a lot of power there. And the French president has a lot of power with respect to the parliament. Uh, if, uh, uh, for instance, if lawmakers get in the way, well, the president can dissolve parliament or bypass it by organizing a popular referendum them like what happened recently mm. uh, with the with the new elections. Now, let's listen to some former press, uh, French presidents, late French presidents describe the job. You'll see what they have to say. Chef de l'État, guide de la France, clé de voûte des institutions, chargé de donner les impulsions fondamentales, de définir les directions essentielles à la fois arbitre et responsable. So you saw De Gaulle, Georges Pompidou, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing describing the job there. As you can see, pretty open to interpretation. Uh, Flo, cri critics say the French president is the closest thing in the developed world to an elected dictator, or uh, to put it in a nicer way, the French president is a kind of temporary absolute monarch, which is ironic for a country that works so hard to get rid of a king. That's right. It would be tempting to say that this kind of president, a strong leader in charge of everything, is a form of nostalgia for the monarchy. But uh, the historical origins of this strong leader are actually much more recent. Uh, a strong president is a key feature of the Fifth Republic, La Cinquième République, which was ushered in by uh, Charles de Gaulle with the Constitution of 1958. Mm. And the idea was that France needed uh, kind of like a father-like figure to call the shots and prevent the parliamentary paralysis that had really plagued the country for decades. Now, critics were very afraid at the time that this kind of strong president could be a, a slippery slope into authoritarianism. But listen to what uh, de Gaulle had to say to them. Est-ce que j'ai jamais attenté aux, aux libertés publiques fondamentales Je les ai rétablies. Et y ai-je une seconde attenté jamais Pourquoi voulez-vous qu'à 67 ans, je commence une carrière de dictateur now, Flo, one of the perks of being president is that you get to appoint uh, the country's prime minister, but French prime ministers themselves don't have as much power as in other countries, and they're not even really much of a permanent sidekick like the vice president in the United States. That's right. Now, uh, the French prime minister is in charge of defending the government's uh, policy before the parliament and running the day-to-day uh, -day affairs of the nation. But it's really the president who calls the shots and sets the tempo. It's said that the, the le premier ministre fait 
le président fait faire. So basically, the prime minister does what the president gets done. Uh, now, pres uh, prime ministers are essentially managers. Uh, they are, are uh, very easily disposable if the president needs a quick reset or a lightning rod to take the heat away from them. Essentially, the prime minister is on an ejectable seat. Let's listen to the late president, uh, François Mitterrand, uh, talk about what he thought the role of the prime minister was. Le premier ministre, et c'est le cas aujourd'hui, n'est que l'exécutant, oui. n'est que l'exécutant des décisions qui, pour la conduite des affaires de la nation, sont prises à l'Élysée. Now, Flo, there is one case, however, where the president's power is reduced and the prime minister has more power, at least symbolically, and that is when the opposition gets the majority in parliament, like in recently recent parliamentary elections. That's right. And in that case, the president must choose a ruling party from, uh, uh, excuse me, a ruling partner from the opposition party or the opposition. Mm. Uh, and this is an, a very awkward situation that's known as cohabitation, cohabitation. Uh, executive power is awkwardly shared between those two heads that we were talking about at the beginning. Uh, both the president and the prime minister are trying to call the, the shots. They're trying to lead the dance. Uh, in the past, it has remained civil, uh, at least on the surface. There's a rule d'or in the cohabitation. It's a bit like a divorce par rapport aux enfants. C'est à dire que the premier qui critique l'autre is mort parce que le peuple ne veut pas que la cohabitation soit une période de conflit violent. Et donc, dès que l'un des deux protagonistes critique l'autre, sa cote de popularité chute brutalement. So you heard it there, cohabitation is like a divorce, awkward situation where no one wants to be the unpopular parent. Indeed, thank you very much for that, Flo. Uh, Flo Vilmino, there, that's all the time we have for this edition of uh, French Connections. If you have questions about France or the French, you can reach out to Flo at Flo Vilmino or check out our website, uh, france24.com.